Hello friends, my name is Dr. Faisal Anwar. Today we will discuss the parts of the slit limb. So first of all, we will see these are oculars. They can be moved inwards and outwards, so we can adjust the IPD, so we can through, see through it a single image. And there is a marking present that is called. You can see here the markings. These are used to adjust the prescription of your glasses. Now below you can see there is a step. Present, so this, this step is called as magnifying. This is a two-step magnification slit lamp. We can move it either way, so we can see an enlarged image. Now there is a jockey that is used to move the slit lamp. This jockey moves the slit lamp upwards and downwards by moving or making a rolling movement or left or right, forward and backward, so we can get a focused image. Now with this jockey, there is a light illumination, which can be high or low adjusted accordingly according to the comfort of the patient. no upward we can see there is a slit present this portion is used to adjust the slit height here you can see the number this is in millimeters so we can adjust the slit height with the help of the millimeters here you can see up to the 10 now here you can see a filter present so it's just normal light you can see through it and there is a green which is a red free filter or a blue which is a cobalt blue filter now red red free filter is used to see the hemorrhages or the blood vascular details and then the blue is used to see the ulcers by staining it with the fluorescein dye so we can see any abrasions or any erosions present in the corneal tissue now when we come down we can see here there is a movable arm present and there is a dial present this is used to adjust the width of the width of the slit here you can so you can adjust the width as well as the height of the slit as well now when we come up we can see by moving this arm we can keep this rotatable arm at an angle so we can see the corneal cross sectional tissue by illuminating the light through it so these are the markings that are present now by coming on this side of the slit lamp there is a hanging portion that is called as aplanation tonometer now this aplanation tonometer has a numbering that is multiplied by 10 to get intraocular pressure in millimeters and there is a head of the aplanation tonometer that indicates the mires so the inner edges of the both mires should meet to give the accurate intraocular pressure this is a protective shield that is used to avoid infection or cross infection now the some other parts are there this is a headrest that is visible this is a chin rest now you can see it's a target that is given to the other eye so patient don't move its eye then there is a lateral cancel margin that is present here which can be adjusted now another portion that is used is rotatable chin rest rotatable chin rest is moved to adjust the head position so this was the brief introduction of the slit lamp hope you understand some of the parts of the slit lamp now we will see in the next video how to focus fundus with the help of the slit lamp thank you